pumping rainwater for the first time. It's all rainwater, two sprinklers. I got more pressure than I need actually. So the sprinklers are on full bore. So that's awesome. Free water coming out of here. This is my Flotec shallow well pump that I'm going to use for my rainwater collection system. Um, this is the uh, distribution part of the collection system that pumps the water out. So, all right, guys, let's do the first test of the rainwater pump. I just came home on my lunch break. I only got 15 minutes, but it was too exciting. Um, I'll show you the details later, but uh, I just got this. I didn't have to prime it. I just had to turn off the on the valves and let the uh, air out. So some loose connections here, but bear with me. I'm gonna pump uh, rainwater through the sprinklers the first time. All right, pumps on. Forty pounds of pressure. It's going through two hoses right now. Uh, tiny leak right there. I didn't use a wrench even. That's just my hand tight. That's hand tight. But everything else. See the two sprinklers there. Whoa. They're actually turned up a little too high. So. Growing grass here. So. Excited to get the rainwater system going because it's free water. I actually need to turn these sprinklers down a little bit. Damn dog. And the rainwater you see pumping right now is coming out of this tank. This one's not active at all. It's connected, but the valve's off. There's no water in it. I still need to cover it. Um, so this one's totally full when I started. I'll have to check the level. Um, you can see here I have a really simple manifold. T coming out and then this is a manual manual adjustment if I want to steal the water from the pump it'll shoot out and make a mess if I turn it all the way on but too much manifold goes, goes on the other side of these tanks you can see it comes out right here T's off connects to this tank too so I can, I can feed the pump with both tanks comes up gets reduced to one inch goes through a, a strainer keep all the leaves and debris out of the pump and then goes into the pump uh, the, it's a shallow well pump it's coming up and uh, temporarily getting split off with a, ti a water timer so now I'll show you how I temporarily route my rainwater I have just your uh, average hose manifold here and um, I have a water timer that I use just for my uh, tomato plant. My very sickly tomato plant. That's a long story. <laughs> but uh, I'm not the best gardener, but I just want to show you an update on the rainwater system here. This is another sprinkler that I would run to water this area. So, there the pump just kicked on. See it's gonna come up to about 60 and shut itself off. Watch it, slowly climbing. So this is a four gallon uh, pressure tank. It's got a little rubber bladder in there that uh, Let's the pump not cycle as often, so I just turned off. You can see, running the, the biggest sprinkler I have, you see how fast the pressure will drop. So it's gonna have to cycle back on pretty soon. If I turn on all my sprinklers, the pump will pretty much run continuously. So, I think ideally I'd have a bigger pressure tank, but I think with, I'm within tolerances, so yeah, I'm happy with it. it works good now. This, this is the check valve. This was a problem earlier. 
now it's fixed and this is I want PVC pipe to distribute it but right now I just have this this is the main trunk that runs the other sprinklers and this goes to the front of the house this is the hose I have for the front of the house so if I want water in front of the house to hose off vehicles or anything I just put a uh, post in the ground and a hose hanger so super convenient I don't have to use my city water one right here because rainwater is free best thing about the pressure pump is you don't have to turn it on and off it just senses the pressure and uh, turns itself on or off as needed as soon as I close this tap I know it's going to turn itself off and it's also going to have pressure built up waiting for me so I mean if you didn't know it was on a pump system and you didn't know it was rainwater you know you wouldn't know because there's no difference from your house tap so hope this helps you set up your own system and uh, let me know if you have any questions I'm still learning but uh, after two years of using it it's working great <laughs>